it's a cold night it's January 12th and you're probably wondering why is that red dot out there in the field <laughs> I'm sure you figured it out by now hey I had a great year hunt with Mike Van Horn I do plan to bow hunt a little bit yet next few weeks for Ohio season archery goes out but man we had brother Mike up here from Tennessee we got him another tag and uh, we had some close calls on some does and a little button buck the extra gun weekend but he slipped the gun to me and uh, I just never I didn't want to take the button buck and the doe I just couldn't get a shot at and then I hunted with him uh, last we had three days out of the four days we could hunt for the muzzleloader season and we never saw a deer but we're going to go to the field real quick and brother Mike's going to give us a good thought and then when he's done talking uh, we'll go to tonight's hunt and you can see uh, how miserably I failed well here we are last day of hunting for muzzleloader season. We've hunted hard this year, brother. It's been good. Had some close calls, took a nice doe. We're actually sitting right where we had that nice 10 point come out. Grunted him 400 yards all the way across the field. And then just about 75 yards out, opening day of gun season, Mike took a nice doe. But it has been a blessing. I just wanna praise the Lord and thank the Lord for Brother Mike Van Horn, he's been such a good friend. Uh, brother, brother, tell us, uh, tell us of maybe a life verse or a, a, just a verse that's very dear in your heart. Give us a little. I remember uh, my mama, on. my mama years ago, just as a child. <clears throat> she was quite. She was a mama. She knew what she was doing. After she got saved, she fell in love with her Bible. And she sent away to Moody Bible Institute to get um, memorization courses. She had those little cards. And uh, she would have us boys hold the cards to make sure she was quoting the scriptures right. <laughs> she knew exactly what she was doing. Um, but I guess right from, a, from the early age, Romans 8.28 just really hit me home. And I learned from mom and just learned from life that, that uh, there's a lot of things we can't change things are going to happen and, and uh, however we handle them could determine the soul of another sinner. And we look at all things working together, not all things are good, but all things will work together to them that love God, to them who are all that called according to His purpose. And His purpose is keeping people out of hell. That's His whole purpose. He created us for His pleasure. He has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. He says two times, turn ye, turn ye, why will you die, house of Israel, in Ezekiel 33, 11. So, uh, you know, we look, look at life circumstances, whether it's a funeral or a wedding or childbirth or anything in between. Uh, God puts his people in unique situations where a sinner needs to hear about the Savior. And I think just learning that fact has helped me to understand that no matter what comes my way, God will never lead me where he doesn't need me. And uh, some people say that God doesn't need anything, but he has handcuffed himself to every word written in the King James Bible. And he said, how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? God uses people to proclaim the gospel to the lost. And uh, it's our job to do so. So. Uh, whether we kill one or not, I'm going to praise him. Amen. Yeah. You know, that's a that's a good verse. I got two words underlined in that verse. Romans 8, 28. And it's the last two words. His purpose. Yep. Man, we gotta, we got to hold on to that with everything that we deal with in life. But it is, right. It's not our purpose. It says it's his purpose. That's good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Darren. <clears throat> been a great great hunt
I cannot believe I just did that. My fingers were so cold, I couldn't feel the trigger. Oh. Well, there goes the meat. What an idiot. How many more can you ask for? I think she was about the biggest doe of all of them. Oh man, do I feel stupid. It's hard to believe they're all coming back. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called, according to His purpose. Well, it looks like tonight wasn't the night to shoot a deer. But man, I had fun. Maybe next time. Can't believe them deer came back out. Maybe they're not bothered enough. We'll give them a couple days to settle down. You couldn't ask for it any better than that. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.